What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another install video for the Shelby. Today we're gonna be installing our Cobra R hood from Savini's on the car. It's a rainy, stormy day here in Jacksonville. I was gonna take the car out, get you guys some, some uh, exhaust content, but unfortunately that's not the case. Let's take a look at this hood. All right, so right now I just got up against the wall. Me and Austin are gonna take off the OEM hood that's on the car. Look at this pool over here. So, let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start this install on the hood. I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step, -step, since I haven't really seen many on the Savini hood. So I'm gonna give you guys what you gotta do to get the hood off. So first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these pins out. There's like 14 of them. So we're gonna start doing that first, and then we'll go from there. He doesn't want to show his face. If you got a pry tool, I recommend using it right now. I don't know where mine is, so we're just using a flathead, and I'm just using my hands. Got this connected line that's running underneath the hood right here. So there's gonna be two clips that are underneath it back in this corner back here. So you gotta pop those off, and then these will just connect it, and you'll be able to run it down. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect my hood struts so that way we can get the rest of the line off. And then from there, there's two bolts on each side and then we'll be able to remove the hood. So the stock hood is off, we got that off of the car. Definitely recommend using two hands. Um, next step that you guys are gonna do, take these two bolts off on each side. They're both 10 millimeter. So if you have aftermarket hood structs, they'll hook right up to the car. Um, definitely use two people, two person safety rule, because if not, you might drop the hood, you could hit your paint. And obviously nobody wants to do that. So right now we're working on installing the Cervini hood. Uh, we're almost done. Last piece of hardware that you guys are gonna have to take off of the OEM hood is I'll show you guys in a second. If Austin wants to help me lean this back, this weather strip, you're gonna have to take that off. And lastly, your latch. And all that will hook up right to your new hood. So. We're gonna start doing that. I'll show you guys the finished product tomorrow. And I'm gonna get the hood wrapped to match the punch and piece that's on the car already. If you guys are in Jacksonville, hit my boy up, Alan, over there at Dr. Pigment, Dipstick Jacks. He knocked this fucking car out of the park. Everyone believes it's paint or a wrap, and it feels exactly like paint. So we're gonna finish up this install, and then tomorrow, get this thing wrapped. And I'll show you guys the finished result after that. All right, so hood is on the car. Right now we're just gonna drop it down really slowly. Make sure the fitment is good on the car and if we have to make any adjustments, we will. But we got the hood struts and everything back in place. Everything is falling down. So let's get to adjusting it. So we 
do got to make one slight little adjustment to the hood. Every time I came down on my side, on the driver's side, they want to rub up against the front fender here. So we're going to make a few adjustments on the hood. up it's on the car I did have a little bit of uh, issues with fitment goes so I'm gonna have to make a little bit more adjusting I did realize that with my hood struts that I had on the car were causing the hood to shift more towards the driver's side causing a lot of my fitment issues so for the time being I just took those off of the car drop a comment down below if y'all had any issue or what hood struts I should go with because I threw my prop rod out and I didn't even realize that until now so I was like I'm never gonna put it back on but I'm going to show you guys the hood real quick because it looks crazy. Look at this thing. Man. It looks fucking crazy. I'm really impressed with it. And like I said, tomorrow I'm going to get the car, go out and get this thing wrapped to match the punch and peach color. Today we're gonna go get the Shelby. We're finally gonna get the hood wrapped and get it matching the car with the punch and peach. Austin's gonna be cruising over with us. So we're gonna head over to Dr. Pimmy Dipstick Jacks. If y'all in Jacksonville, I highly recommend y'all go check them out. Alan will hook y'all up. So we're gonna head over there right now. See you there. All right, you guys, we just dropped off the car to Alan here at Dipstick Jacks in Jacksonville. Like I said, give these guys a shout out. Come over here, give them some business. But the car should be done tomorrow, so I'm on film picking it up. But here it is one last time beforehand. And then we're all gonna be punching Peach. I'll keep you guys updated once I pick it up. And then Alan's car over here. I think this color is called Acid Green. This thing is nasty. The color on this, nuts. He has a whole bunch of different colors from color shifting, matte, glass, satin whatever you want color flakes but we're gonna pick it up tomorrow and come check it out all right so we're picking this video up next day we're going to pick up the car right now check out this new hood i think it's gonna look wild i got a little bit of a sneak peek but we're gonna head there right now. If he wants to unlock the door, it ain't a chance to let me in. Still waiting, you know. It's a little loud. Just a little bit. But let's head that way and go check out this hood. See y'all there. All right, we just got to the shop. We're about to check this hood out. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet though. Really excited to see it. It's gonna be a good little touch to the car. Waiting for Alan to open up the door and we're gonna head in and check this thing out. Jeez. Look at that thing. That looks crazy. Beyond menacing. Like I said, go check him out at this of Jackson here in the Jacksonville area. can't get over how good this hood looks like it looks wild so next thing I'm gonna do to the car I do got a few other goodies coming I'm gonna show you guys whenever they get here hopefully be in a week or two um, let me know if y'all think I should get a harness bar and some racing seat belts and if so tell me what color because you know my logo has a few different colors in there let me know what y'all think good but we're heading home right now 
I'm gonna do a couple of reaction videos coming up too. I got my parents coming in in two weeks, so I'm gonna show them the car for the first time, give them a ride and get some reactions. But we got some cool content, some funny content coming up. I'm gonna keep it real original myself, but um, I'm gonna show you one more time once we get home what this thing looks like, because I couldn't stop looking at it there. It looks so good, but I'll see y'all when we get home. All right, we made it home. One more look at this thing. Looks absolutely crazy. Let me know what y'all think. Drop up a comment. Subscribe to the page. I promise I'm gonna bring y'all some good content. I appreciate y'all who are supporting me so far. And I'm gonna give you a one final look. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Drop a comment, subscribe to the page. I promise y'all I'm gonna bring y'all some fire content. I appreciate y'all who are supporting me so far on this YouTube journey. All right, until next time, peace.